Otto, the stylish Otook mount, has finally been discovered thanks to all the hard work put in by the people over on the Secret Finding Discord, so now we know how to obtain this mount. I will run through how to get it in this guide. Step 1 is getting your hands on a golden coin of the Isles. The way you'll do this is you can either trade in silver coins for a gold coin, or you can trade in copper coins for a silver coin for then a gold coin. You will need 75 copper coins to trade in for 5 silver coins, and you will need 5 silver coins to trade in for a gold coin. Once you have your gold coin, you'll be able to purchase an immaculate sack of swag treasures from the Great Swag in Onaran Plains, and that once opened will guaranteed give you your aquatic shades. Now how you get your hands on these coins, they're going to be quite a low drop chance fishing, Fishing in the Dragon Isles will give you a chance of getting your hands on the copper coins. There are also very, very, very rare schools called like treasure schools, and these will have a much higher chance of dropping coins from them as well. But fishing on the Dragon Isles does give you a small chance of gaining a copper coin, a much smaller chance for a silver coin, and a very, very low chance of gaining a gold coin. The next method is the Tuscar and Tackle Boxes, which you unlock at Renown 27 with the Ascar and Tuscar, and flying around opening these treasures will have a small chance of containing the coins in once again. This isn't the best method though, but you are going to be earning a bit of gold while you do this, so it isn't too bad. The final method and the best method is Lunker Harpoon Fishing. This is where you'll join a group for it, either look for groups called Lunker Fishing or Lunker Harpoon or Harpoon, or even Otto, there's some groups named that now too. And you'll join that and you'll head down to one of the fishing holes and then you'll start basically just harpooning the mobs in. You'll bring them to shore, you'll loot them, it's basically all these sharks and these will have a chance of dropping coins. Now if you are you don't have a harpoon you can purchase one from the auction house, they are BOE. Or you can use your spells, if you are going to use spells to tag the mobs though, keep two things in mind. First of all take off all your gear so you're not doing very much damage and try to use your lowest damage in spells so something like a moon fire, a flame shock, something where you're going to be doing very minuscule damage to the mob. If too many people are doing damage the mobs will die too quickly before everyone gets to pull it in with the harpoon and it just becomes unbalanced. So do keep that in mind if you see there's too many people dealing damage then you might want to be the one of the people kind of helping with the harpoon instead. So now that you've got your 75 copper coins or your 5 silver coins or your 1 golden coin of the isles, we can head over to the Great Swag which we'll find in the southwest area of an Aran Plains. There'll be a bunch of swags kind of around, there'll be a cave entrance. Inside will be the Great Swag and you can now do your trade in for the coins and purchase your immaculate bag. Open that bag and you will get your aquatic shades. So now that we have the aquatic shades, we're going to head to the northwest side of the Waking Shores, just north of the Obsidian Citadel. You'll kind of see this area on the map that looks like a diving board kind of thing. It's like a rock formation. And you'll head there, you'll dive down into the water with your shades on, and you should see a bunch of people down there. The area should be called the Bubble Bath Dive Bar. You want to have the buff active for your aquatic shades and you should see a dance pad. You want to go to the dance pad, stand on it and you should now see a 5 minute debuff on your character while you're dancing. You want to let that debuff expire so just stay still while you dance and eventually that debuff will expire and you'll end up back on land. Once you're on land again you should see a barrel nearby. You'll click that barrel and you should now obtain the empty fish barrel. Now that we have the fish barrel, we've got to fill it with fish. You have to do this in order though that I'm about to go through. You can't skip a phase or try and do one first. You have to do it in this specific order. So the first step is to get 100 frigid flow fish. And you'll fish these up from Iskara in a Zer span. So head over there, start fishing and get your 100. I was basically doing this with very basic fishing. I don't have any accessories, any tools, any fishing pole. And I had like 50 skill. And it did take a bit of time, but we got there eventually. It was one every kind of, I'd say about every three out of four casts were a frigid flow fish. And if you don't know about the stuff to make fishing a little bit easier, I definitely would recommend setting that up for this. Step one is to set up the interact key in the settings. So press escape, go to options, and there should be a setting to set your interact key. So put it to something random, you know, something that you don't typically use. For this example, we'll use Z. Once that is done, you want to put your fish in on a key as well. So let's say X for this example. And then there is two scripts that you want to do as well, which I'll put in the description down below. You want to kind of copy both of those, put them into chat, press enter, do that for the second one. And then now what this will allow you to do is fish without having to kind of mouse over the click and bobber and click it. All you'll do is press X, the fish and bobber will go out, you'll listen for the sound, and then you'll press C. And it will just automatically poke up the fish, and there you go, you're just a two button system, so you can be watching something, all you need to do is be able to listen for the sound. So... After a bit of time, you would have got your 100 frigid flowfish. 
Now what we need to do is click the barrel. You must click the barrel and put the fish in. If you do not do that, you cannot proceed to the next step. So do make sure you do that. Your barrel should change from an empty barrel to something else now. And that's how you know you've done it correctly. So once you've done that, the next step is to head over to the Obsidian Citadel and start fishing in the lava. What we need to do is fish up 25 Calamitous Carp. And once again, these will not drop if you have not put the previous fish in the barrel. So do make sure you have done that. The drop chance for these was significantly lower. I was getting one maybe every four, five casts. Once again, very basic fishing though. So if you're using a proper rod and equipment and stuff, you're probably going to have an easier time. But for me, I was using the bare bones and it still wasn't too bad. It took about an hour. Once again, once you have your 25 kilometers carp, you'll click the barrel once more, put the fish in, and now the barrel should change once again. Once that has happened, we can head over to Algathar Academy in Theldrassus, and I was fishing just to the kind of right side of the dungeon entrance. And here you want to fish up one King Finn the Wise Whisker Fish. Now some people have said it took them like 300 casts to get this. I was very lucky and it took sub 10. But for you it might take significantly longer. But once again I'm using very bare bones fishing stuff. So it does show that this can be done with the basic stuff as well. Although I had hit 100 skill on fishing at this point. Now that we have the final fish, once again, click that barrel, and now you should have a full barrel of fish that should say, take it back to where you found it. So we're going to do exactly that. We're going to head over to the Waking Shores, just north of the Obsidian Citadel. We're going to go to the exact spot where we woke up and first picked up the barrel. We're going to click the barrel and Otto should come running out. It'll eat the fish and now Otto will have a quest. You'll pick up the quest, you'll hand it in and now Otto will be in your bags. And Otto is pretty unique. It's one of the only mounts where you can kind of have a slight customization on it like this where you'll summon it when you have the aquatic shades on and Otto itself will also have the aquatic shades on as well. If you don't have the aquatic shades on, it'll just be a normal looking Otto mount. So there you go. That is how you obtain Otto. Pretty cool, interesting little secret mount. Hopefully you enjoyed this guide. Look out for more guides coming soon. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.